Cinco Petra's quest has taken them along a rocky road where stumbling has been quite common. I often criticized my ex-wife for hitting all the potholes in New England, but I may now be more guilty in tripping on every rock. Looking under all the rocks is a painstaking process. Recognizing the rocks to look under is a much better idea. The tiny bits of knowledge we need seem to be like natural pearls. Many oysters need to be opened, and many hypothetical rocks need to be looked under to find the hidden good things. Fortunately, this quest is not like potholes where nothing good happens. It's more like a pearl necklace where many tiny good things need to be found to complete the end product. We discovered the Taylor effect, a good thing that we thought produced huge amounts of shear force which was added to the torque from asymmetric reluctance. The alternative was that the asymmetric forces were amplified to produce extra, extra torque and that reactions across multiple air gaps were totally independent. We stumbled badly when we built this wannabe motor, which failed to produce any shear force from the Taylor effect. A good thing was that it also produced no torque on the stratified rotor. It was just a stumble, because while the simple shear forces would have been phenomenal, amplification ain't a bad tool to now have in our toolbox. Our toolbox also contains the proven ability to produce shear forces, which was demonstrated in prior videos, and polyphasing technology, which is demonstrated in the prior art. Of course, there can be no torque without some cogging. We now realize that all three tools are required, and that neither shear force nor amplification can be used at maximum potential. Applying our proven shear force technology to the full rotor adds barely perceptible cogging forces to the rotor. This is a very good test result that is hard to appreciate. The rotor needs some changes to reduce the amplification and increase cogging. Luckily, the design has contingency to incorporate our proven ability to produce asymmetric forces. So, we changed the rotor to drastically increase the cogging. Like the first design, it is a stratified design. The primary difference is that the dimensions of the ten stratums are tuned with the state of magnets to use the amplification we discovered. There are additional pieces of steel on the rotor that are only structural. We are only using two of the 12 pole locations. First, we will engage the rotor clockwise, initializing with the force from a single cog. Rotation is limited to about 115 degrees. Next, we will engage the rotor counterclockwise, again initializing with the force from a single cog. It is too fast for the video. In this direction, it went much further and almost disengaged. It rotated approximately 130 degrees to this point before it reversed direction. My observations are that the counterclockwise forces are greater, but an astute observer would find fault saying that in both cases the net energy is the same with the overall effect being engagement with a single magnet pole. My rebuttal is first that the counterclockwise initial maximum displacement was greater. Then I could expand the experiment maintaining engagement with two poles. Counterclockwise, we can easily show torque, while counterclockwise, it is much more difficult. Counterclockwise. Torque every time. Counterclockwise. 
That's the best we can do. Every time, the same asymmetric result indicating a very small counterclockwise torque. What does it mean? Mostly, it means we are a, a bit wiser. Our current conjecture is that the minuscule torque seen here is like a paddle wheel boat using more inefficient drag forces compared to the lift forces of a propeller. We believe that the next step is to use the Taylor effect to achieve, achieve propeller-like effectiveness and then make a small change to cancel the detrimental portion of the Taylor effect to get at least six times this output. The design can get an additional 6x output by filling in the vacant poles. The net torque potential should be approximately two orders of magnitude greater than what is seen here. The, techni the technology seems to have only a third of the watt density potential hoped for. Flight may not be possible, but home generators and automotive are still quite attractive possibilities. The next objective is a self-starting version with the partial rotor um, with um, self-starting in the active region always going to one end of the, of the pole, one end of the rotor.